go. Hi, it's Gretchen again from Solitude Wool. Wanted to tell you a little bit about another one of our yarns, um, two of our yarns in another breed. It's Coopworth. Um, Coopworth is a long wool breed that was developed from both Romney and Border Lester sheep. And it's a really cool concept of raising sheep for their production values, for what they produce, for their fleece, for their meat, and how many lambs they produce. Um, and it doesn't matter so much what the sheep look like. So if you see Coopworth sheep, sometimes they look more like Romneys. Sometimes they look more like Border Lesters. Um, but you know that they're good sheep producing a lot of good stuff. So there was a farm in our area raising Coopworths and we're so sad to say that they've sold their flock. So at the moment, we have no source of enough Coopworth to make more yarn. What we've got here, I mean, in, in our back stock is what we've got. But Coopworth being a long wool breed, the other thing about both of these yarns, both um, a Coopworth lace weight and our Coopworth sport weight, is that they are both a true worsted spun yarn. It is exactly the opposite from what I was talking about earlier today with the, the Monty Woolen. Um, and in a worsted spun yarn, the fibers are both drafted out so they're parallel. And in this case, when you're doing it at a mill, there are levelers to get all the shorter fibers out and to make sure that um, the roving that they're spinning from is even. And you get a smooth yarn, it's hard wearing, and it has beautiful drape. Um, and in particularly, because this is a long wool and you've got long fibers, staple length, you get a yarn that's very strong. And our lace weight yarn, which is truly a lace weight, it's very fine, is very strong and we've had lots of lace knitters, which I am not, but a lot of lace knitters have complimented us that they're so pleased that the yarn doesn't break when they're knitting. Um, so we'll start with the lace. I wanted to show some patterns that have been made. Evelyn Clark, who is getting some yarn from us after this weekend, who's participating in the virtual fair, um, she designed a lot of different shawls and these are two of her designs that she knit um, up in the, in the Coopworth lace. This is the Birch Bay shawl. This is a pattern she often uses to teach lace knitting so it's a great introductory lace pattern. Um, we sell it but you can also find it from directly from Evelyn on her website. And another shawl that's a little more complex is the Reykjavik shawl. Evelyn is a great lover of Iceland and Icelandic wool and Icelandic knitting. This one can be done in colors. It's, it's a, a shawl design that you can do in two colors and it's written that way. But from us you'll also, and on her site, you'll find project notes of exactly how she made it with Solitude Yarns. The Birch Bay was done with one skein. Um, Reykjavik, which I think I have upside down, come to think of it, was done with another one. Um, and that one I think she recommends two skeins. Um, there's lots of colors, there's also hand pins. With the Coopworth Sport yarn, also there's many colors and many um, both undyed, solid colors, and hand paint colors. And I wanted to point out a few patterns. Um, one that was designed for this yarn for us is the cobbled scarf and wrap. Um, these are two different combinations of colors to make up the shawl. It's done, or you can also do, the pattern come has a scarf length. If you want to make the scarf, you make it with one, two skeins of yarn, a solid and a hand paint. Um, if you want the big, shawl, long, dramatic, drapey one, it takes 
four skeins of yarn, two solids and two handmaids. And the fun thing about this pattern is it's very pointillistic in the color interaction because you're knitting two rows with the solid and two rows with the hand paint, they blend and create a whole new color combination that you might not expect. And there have been, we've seen so many different combinations of this, some of which I was shocked by, just shocked by. And the one particularly, um, a customer picked out a color, I don't think it was exactly this one, but very similar, and this orange. And I, I, I just was not sure, but it was one of the most interesting color combinations that was so beautiful, I was open-mouthed at it. And in general, if you pick colors that are, are fairly subtle, you're going to get something that is very subtle and beautiful and sophisticated. But if you pick colors that are wildly different, and I was thinking this green with either the black or the red would make a really dramatic, fun knit. Um, but picking out colors is always fun with this pattern. It also is a very good sweater yarn. This is a sweater, the window pane sweater, um, designed by Amy Herzog. Um, and this particular sweater knit by Amy Herzog, and it's available in her um, custom fit pattern design. And this is a pattern by Nancy Marchant, one of our favorite designers in brioche. So and what's it called? You would ask that. I this isn't remember. Gretchen's scarf? No, it is not. There is a Nancy Marchant scarf called Gretchen Zigzag, but it was not knit in this yarn. Mm. It was in a heavier yarn. Um, and it's a good sweater weight yarn. It's a good, pretty lightweight, mid-Atlantic, not super heavy outside yarn. And not so heavy that it also works well in brioche where you have double layers. So that's our Coopworth sport and our Coopworth lace. Hope you get a chance to try it. Bye.